Oily on computer, there's pros and there's cons. Oily on computer is a new, you know, format. It's kind of different from the oily on paper. Like the paper is the same, but uh, there are a few differences which you should know before you go for it. So I will try to explain the cons first and then we will move on to the pros, okay? Number one is typing. So what I mean by that is like, how is typing a con? For some it is, for some it may not be, but for most of us it is. Uh, like since we've been little children, like um, it may be like 20, 25 years, we have been writing. So we have developed like in natural flexes about it and muscle memory about writing. Like when we are attempting the listening part, for example, we are just writing. We don't really care about it, but we, how our hand is moving, where the ballpoint is or something like that. We're just writing because uh, our brain knows how to do it. Uh, but uh, in case of typing, that's not the case. Uh, if you're like me, like you have been typing for one or two years, like maybe you can type, but uh, you're not a professional typist. So it means that you are going to need a lot of practice for it to be able to attempt the paper in a good way. So, you know, when you're preparing, you are doing two things. One, you are preparing uh, for the typing uh, one yeah, like you are practicing to be a good typer or the second thing is that uh, you are preparing for the exam so that's like uh, an extra thing for you so okay so second thing uh, like your concentration divides what uh, what do I mean by that is that let's say you are attempting the listening part so your focus is on the uh, listening you are not focusing on the writing, okay? Why? Because your brain already knows how to write. Your hand, your ballpoint, like where on the paper your ballpoint is. You don't really think about it. Why? Because it's your reflex. You just keep on writing and your brain is focused on the listening. But when you're attempting, your brain, like some part of your brain is focused on the listening part and the other is focused on your fingers. Like if the fingers of your left hand are on ASDF and like the right hand on LKJH and like uh, uh, you have to press the space and things like that. Because if you're like me, you don't have reflexes for the typing. So it means that uh, in when you are typing, uh, you are attempting the paper based on computer, you, some part of your concentration is on the typing part, not on the paper. So it means that your concentration is divided and it means a lot in this paper because it's just not about your English proficiency. It's about how much can you focus your attention span, your concentration, your focus. It's about that as well. So I hope uh, you understand this point. Second point is spellings. So what do I mean? Like when we're practicing the writing part of it, like at home we're practicing it, we mostly practice it on Microsoft Word, at least I do. So what Microsoft Word does, it autocorrects it. Let me show you. I'll type something in Microsoft Word and it will autocorrect the spellings of it. So let's see. So let's see, I'm going to misspell receive. I'm going to write R-E-C-I-V-E -E, and it's going to autocorrect it. Just, you know, look at it, I-E-V-E. -E. And it just simply, you know, changes it, it autocorrects it. Did you see that? If not, then pause the video and rewind it again. So that's what Microsoft Word does. When it autocorrects, you don't realize your mistake. It just does that. And you keep on typing and the, at the end of the practice, uh, like when you have completed your letter and you examine it, you don't even remember that you made a mistake. So, you know, so what's the point of practice if you don't even realize your mistake? Now, let's move on to the second part, and that is auto capitalization. It is also a feature of Microsoft Word. Like, I'm going to show you how it does. So, like in the beginning of the sentence, when I will write I, it will auto capitalize it. Or, like, after I end the sentence, I put the full stop and I type the, uh, the next sentence. Like in this example, I will uh, write a small b. It will auto capitalize it, and you will see. So there we go. Small i. I type the small i, and it just changed it.
now a small b and it auto capitalizes it so i hope you saw it if you did not then you need to pause the video and watch it again i hope i made my point and now like the d of the did it capitalizes it so there is that so now talk let's talk about uh, you know your muscle memory while writing so writing is a fine skill which you have honed over decades so obviously it's you have like that muscle memory with it so when writing you make a mistake you automatically realize it or you don't even make that mistake because your muscle memory is working with you uh, especially those who like connect their uh, alphabets while writing but when typing you don't see that mistake so i am writing and i'll show you and uh, whenever i'll auto capitalize i'll put the full stop or i will auto punctuate my brain is automatically doing that i'm not paying any attention to it but when i type i have to deliberately press the caps lock to press the space and all of that now let me show you what i mean by muscle memory how it works okay so for example when i write r e c i e v e my brain automatically picks that mistake but when i type r e c e i v e my brain knows that it's okay why is that because since i've been a little child i've been uh, writing like uh, oh i connect always connect the r e c e so there is this muscle memory inside my hand or like there is a reflex and i will pick it up so that's very important but when you are on typing like you when you were typing at home you made that mistake the word automatically corrects it you don't pick that up so you are in the exam hall you make the same mistake in OED computer, that mistake won't be corrected and there it goes, you lost your marks there. So I hope I made that point clear. The third point, you have no margin for error. In computer based, the time is of an essence. In paper based, it's not that much. What I mean by that, in navigating between the blanks like the reading part, the listening part, like especially listening part A from moving from one question to the next, you have to, you cannot make a mistake there because if you do, you will lose time. Let me explain it here, okay? Now I'm attempting the listening part and I'm writing with my keyboard, imagining that I know where to place my fingers. I hope you do as well. So there I am. You see that tab button? Because I need that to move from one blank to the next blank. Like from this to the next question, I can either go to the tab, which is pretty far away, or I can, you know, use the mouse. Now when I'm moving the mouse to move to, from one space to the next, the mouse is going away and away and away, you know, like this and this and this. And I would eventually forget where the mouse is. I hope you understand that because it happened with me. So I'm writing again, you know, here I go and I'm writing and I'm writing. Now let's say I need to get to the backspace. I have forgotten where the mouse is or I can go and press shift and tab. But hey, it's quite difficult. And during all of that, I have to look at the screen, get back to the keyboard. I will forget where my fingers are. And, you know, in all of that, I can miss one or two seconds or the speaker has moved on and I might lose track of him. So you see what I'm trying to make a point here? Now let's talk about how this navigation part is especially important in listening part A. Well in listening part you are listening to the speaker and you have to fill in those blanks. So like you know that you have to write like right leg. And when you're writing it, if you have noticed the G and H are pretty close on the keyboard and while you're writing this you mistakenly like uh, write G in place of H in leg and there it is. So you know, okay, you have to move back to the space you have, and you need to press the backspace or move the mouse and you do that and you replace the, like you correct the leg spelling and while you're doing that, you have lost the speaker and when you've lost the speaker, you're going to focus on him again and in all of that, you have missed this like uh, middle blank you would not have missed this question if you were attempting OET on paper. I hope I made this pretty much clear for you. Now let's talk about point number four. Why highlight function in OED on computer is highly overrated. It requires micro level precision of your fingers and the movement of mouse to the right, left, up and down. I'll explain it how. Okay, keep on watching. Now here I am. To highlight, I will select the text and then press the left button. 
Now, here did you see that? While I was dragging to the right, I like moved a little bit to the down and the entire line was selected. I hope you saw that. And then if you are in a hurry, like you are in a hurry, so you immediately click the highlight button and it highlights both lines. Okay. I look really carefully. Did you see what happened? What happened is that I mistakenly selected all those lines. How did that happen? Well, you have to like drag the, you press the button and then drag it. What happens sometimes when you are clicking and dragging, the, you miss the button and then you press it again. When you double click, it selects all the previous lines. And you're in a hurry and you press the highlight button immediately. It highlights all of that. Okay. So then you go on to remove the highlight. When you do that, what happens is that all the previous highlighted stuff is removed by default. And that isn't good because you might be at the end of the document. You have highlighted a lot of text and all that highlight is gone. Now let me show you another thing. Like uh, I'm highlighting the question statement. Okay. So I do it perfectly here. Good. It did not highlight. Now here you look at that. I click on the button. The button moves downward again and again. It's not highlighting. So there is that bug as well. Now let's talk about underlining with the pencil when you attempt the OED on paper. It's easy. You just move the paper up and down and you do it. There is no hassle in that. So it's quite superior to the highlighting on computer based paper. So I hope that I made clear. Okay. Okay. So you don't get any blank paper, pencil or not any kind of stationery with you in OED on computer like uh, you only have your identification document and that's just it so why blank paper is important it's important because like you're attempting the reading part b and c and you you know that mcq is number two three or four they are you have to review them if you got the time so on blank paper you write two three four so so that you know that you have to review those questions at the end of the paper in those two or three minutes but you can't really do that uh, while you are already on computer so i don't think that's a good thing at all okay now let's talk about another elephant in the room i think it's a dragon in the room they don't let you bring a bottle of water with you in the room okay in the oet on computer room uh like uh, when you are attempting oet on paper you get to bring a bottle of water if like uh, there is no uh wrap around it so they don't let you do it in oet on computer so for me that was a difficult thing because it's a three hours long paper and you uh, up you have you are concentrating like crazy in listening part and more crazy in the reading part and when you're uh, in the writing part that's like uh, two hours like two hours and you are really tired and what can do a lot of good for you because you know our brains may our brain needs water our heart needs water our blood pressure maintained by water we are water man and when I was there and I felt like all my C CSF was gone, there was no blood inside me and I was in the desert. You know that scene in the Rango cartoon where he is like uh, so thirsty? So I was thirsty. I was really thirsty. And I could not attempt my writing part really well. I think OIT should let you do that. And I thought it's worthy of mentioning. It's actually very worthy of mentioning. So there is that. So the final con, uh, like you have to stare at a computer screen for three hours. It may not be a problem for many, but I think there is a reason they invented Kindle and e-readers. You know, if you don't feel like it, how about you stare at it for three hours, huh? How does that feel, man? Yeah, keep staring for three hours, man. So now, let's talk about Odin Computer Pros. There aren't many, but there still are. And I think they're worthy of mentioning. So first, you don't have to fill those damn little circles with a pencil, okay? You need to be an artist to feel comfortable doing that. It's time taking. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. You don't have to do it. On computer, you just have to do a simple click. Just do it. That's just it. Let me show you. Left click, done. Left click, boom. And, and there is that beautiful thing called strike through so what is that so it's a simple thing like there it is 
you put a line through the word or sentence why does it help it helps you to exclude the wrong options because you don't need to go for the best one go for the wrong option first exclude them first and then go for it and second most it's very helpful in review like uh, when you're coming back to your mcqs two like out of three options let's say or four options two are already you know strike through you know that you have to look at a bit decide between these two on review so that saves your times a lot so the most advantage you can take from audio and computer is in writing part how like you are getting the word count at the bottom okay so you are typing and you know how long or how short you need to get so that's pretty helpful the second thing is you don't need to plan your letter beforehand okay you don't need to plan okay this paragraph this paragraph there there you don't need to plan that so you if you have practiced enough you just keep on typing and when you are done like you can do that in like uh, 10 or 15 minutes then you have like 30 minutes to refine your letter you can you know edit it quite easily uh, so uh, that's i think that's very helpful in there so that's a good plus good plus point okay so when you go for the speaking part you have the option to uh, you know have your speaking zone in your home on zoom so you get to have the luxuries of your home like uh, your personal space and everything your comfort a beautiful home so many homes black home white home red home red home or factory or bank or something or so many homes remember guys there are those who don't have homes okay so there are those who are homeless so be kind to them guys i think it's very important that we be kind to them you know in a world where can you can be anything you should be kind so should i make more videos do comment and share